Hello and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Last time we came to Triss and she helped us a little bit and this time we're going to help Triss with whatever her problems happen to be. Yes, Geralt? Um, but first of all we're going to ask her some questions. I see. did we not already? I think we asked her all these before. Anyway, want to tell me something? What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Uh-huh. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbutt needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. Um, what are you afraid of? What are you afraid of, exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridium? You won't always be there to help. Hmm. Well, let's be here this time. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Hmm. Whose idea was that? Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic? He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Yeah, okay. Well, we know the Vagal Buds are probably good people. I mean, they organize a horse race, and we love horse races, so, you know, it just makes sense. They're good people. We can trust them. Right. Um, oh, this way. Oh, we get to beat up some of uh, Horson's uh, remaining men. Fantastic. Just do a couple hits to get ourselves in the right position. Then uh, we'll just finish that one off. Right. Finish that one off. And finish this one off. I really like our sign intensity. It's really good. Like, amazingly good. No bread, no anyway. Um, this way. The only problem is it doesn't seem to work very well against monsters. Which I think are most likely to be the kind of enemies we'll face later on in the game. I think humans are probably about as hard as they're ever going to get. Which, you know, it's a little bit of an issue. But we'll work it out. At the very least, sign intensity works well with everything. Right, so we need to... Lots of blue find, jerkins. Interesting. Find the person with the right blue jerkin. But there is a shop over here. Do you want to quickly check out? So, oh, he's not. He's not at work. Okay. Yeah, I suppose it is late at night. Um, is it you? Wanted to ask you. Aye. How can I be of service? Uh, so, price of trout. Know who'll give me the best price on trout? But taking season for trout. Buy a bucket of oysters. Please the wife like never before. <laughs> All right then. Hello. Yeah. Uh, do you know where I'll get the best price on trout? Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. Alright. Alright. This way. It's not far. Help. Save me. I'm dying of poverty. Well, that seems like your problem right now. Uh, where are we going, townsman? I do like that you run at my speed. That's it. Get it. Oh, hello, bandits. 
Oh, he's helping us. I thought we were in an ambush, but no, he is helping us. That's good. <laughs> Knock him over. And that's the end of him. Thank you. Oh, oh let's go. He cut off his head so much he got an extra head. What did they want from you? I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on him. Maybe. Oh, well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, Miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the Witch Hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I... It, it just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagel, bud. Who are you? Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Bagel, bud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Bagel, bud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. Okay, so what's this about? So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son, he's the problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard, but since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the guardsmen, but since the hunters pay for every mage revealed to him. Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the hunters anyway. Okay, so how'd you know about Triss? How did Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss, that Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's, um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Okay, so yeah, time for Albert to get out of there. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly, wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vogelbud fears the help's being watched. Hmm. Well, this seems like nothing could go wrong. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vogelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all? Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candy petals of blue roses from Nazaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Uh, so expecting any trouble? Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire, knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Okay, well, I'm going with you, Triss. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts, while well, you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. So, can we go there now? Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare, change clothes, most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Yeah. Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Triss does not know how prepared we are for this. Right. Uh, let's go, and there's our outfit. 
not too bad. Then we need our mask, which we already bought earlier. We want wolf mask. Oh, we have to put in the slot on that one. Oh, that's kind of... I don't like that. Harlequin mask. Oh, God. That's hideous, but I think I like it the best. Wolf is like, I'm trying to be stealthy, but really, I'm Geralt of Rivia. Gold is just, I don't know, but I think... Bird definitely has something going for it. Right. Let's go uh, meet Triss. Right. Oh, I've got to go Looking and buy her a mask. Something oh. unusual. Uh, still an empty bottle. Very happy we there weren't any guards around there. Although, I should go back to Dandelions. Oh. Hello. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. What's going on? What's this about? Ugh, nothing. I just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the fuck off. Because we were just parting. Right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. <sighs> Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without the shovel. You're not even going to ask about the mask then, huh? Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. What does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coalface with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. All right, so what's this about? What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal... About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Good choice. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. Rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? No, I can help. Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Not Zed. at all. Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. All right then. Well, that's good. Is this truly what you want? To be a of cheap whores and water down wine? Hey, I can't control what I inherit. You make but you can control what you do with it. I know. I know. Do you want to get involved? Why I'm considering. Oh, you're always considering. If it's not one thing, it's another. Let me know when you finally decide. Hey there, handsome. Hey there. Uh, hey there, dandelion. What's going on? What was that about? 
She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. Sure. Definitely. Uh, why a cabaret, though? Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxenford. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. I'll help you. How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Perfect. The name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You know, I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. So, what am I gonna do? Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. And what are you gonna do? Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What'll you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. All right. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Uh, okay, I suppose. But before we do that, I will go where I was... The reason I was coming here in the first place was to pick up my outfit. So, uh, I don't really like the, um, doublet or, that we're wearing right now. I think I want to wear that one. Yeah. Let's just quickly, uh, put that one on. Yeah, that's, that's a little better. It's, it's, it's... A, it, I think that works a lot better for us. Yeah. And then, I just want to drop off the old one in our bag. That's fine. Um, right, so I think we can speak to Priscilla as well. Hello. What's he schemed up this time? I haven't spoken Perhaps you can talk some sense into him. Okay. Alright, so let's go buy a fox mask. Wherever we do, oh, that's uh, of course it's going to be an Elahal shop. Go so through the geese, right? Uh, I forget exactly where it is, but I don't think it's that far away. Right? Oh, yeah, it's not that far away at all, actually. Perfect. Hello. Oh, where is he? Oh, that was an impressive move. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps. Yes. Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Okay, I would like to buy a fox mask. 
We could buy some Skellige outfits, but I think we'll leave them just for just now. So long. Right. And just checking. Can we wear Chris's fox mask? No. Okay. Right. Uh, back to Triss, I guess. Uh, she'll be at her home, I would imagine. You are very fancily dressed. I like the outfit. Right. Yours, not so much. Right. Wonderful. Oh, that's not realistic at all. Those pigeons would have been out of here. Completely out of here. Right. Oh, it's telling me this way, so I'm going to go this way. Even though the dots are not. I think this is quicker. I could be completely wrong, but I think I'm right because I didn't realize that was a passage. Yeah, fantastic. We could get more pork as well if we wanted, but I'm not going to do that. We're, we're kind of good on food Maybe right now. At home. Track mud in all over the floors. Maybe she'll finally move in with him. Hard time. You're... I was going to say horrible people, but you're actually fine because you're letting the mage stay here, and that's... You know, to be fair, that probably takes quite a lot. So, I'm, I'm judging you too early. Right. Up. What did we even climb on? I'm impressed. Hey, Triss. certainly took my request to heart. You mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Um, did you learn anything else about Albert? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. All right, well, I brought the masks. You can see I'm wearing mine. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Uh, damn, double is chafing my armpits. And I it should feels take like off they the sew wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? Of course. Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Sure. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful. I can't access my inventory. We have to wear the gloves. I haven't been outside the city oh, no. in ages. But how could he? With that scrawny harlot. Oh, come now, don't cry. After all, he's not the only man in the world. But he's a baronet. Where will I find another baronet? Hello. Do not, I repeat, do not come any closer. All right, all right, I'm out of here. Hello, what are you doing? You don't look like you were invited. Had you fill a fool's parsley, have you? You look severely out of place. Who else have we got around here? Unhand me, sir. I could be your daughter. A role play. I relish the fools. Hey, hey, leave her alone. I'm listening, Sarah. <laughs> I read one look is all it takes to get scouts. What the hell? Uh, alright then. then. I'll beat your hey, pretend not that. to know her. Please, can you imagine, sir? The poor girl. <laughs> How humiliating. You don't sound uh, that upset about whatever you're talking about. Hmm. Ooh, what's going on down here? Oh, locked. Of course I won't Let's continue having a look around. I'm very... I like just listening in on all the conversations. Ooh, lots of food. Fantastic. Uh, what about this? <laughs> the word is, it's more like a pigsty than a cabin. Mark my words, I'll kick him out. It's my, I, I really like this guy. Can't breathe. Late for supper again. Stop 
whining and bring a shrimp for the trumpet. Hello, Vivian. No use pretending you don't know me. Vivian? Is that any way to oh. treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that main anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? Uh, well, I think he's getting punched. You asked for it. All right. Yeah, he shouldn't cause much problem. Any problems? Much problems? That doesn't even sound right. I'm just gonna keep hitting him until he dies. Not die. Falls over. Come back, you coward. What do you mean, come back, you coward? I beat him up. I'm not done with you. Leave me be, sir. Wow. Oh well. Whatever. Those were the days. What we got going on over here? Through all of these nice flowers. What is this guy doing? Be gone. All right then. Is he waiting for this one? Good jump him. Nope. That's it. All right. Ooh, what we got over here? It's a stables. Oh. And a rich townswoman running into the stables. Okay. You know, I think we've gone the wrong direction for the party. I think that's definitely not the party. How about over here? Uh, what are you doing? I'm getting old. Oh, really? Interesting. Right, let's go into the party itself. Nope, nobody else interesting, I don't think. <laughs> I'm a Kraken! Even better the second My, time. Even better. Right. Oh, hello. Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Marigold. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Um, we'll let Triss do whatever she's doing. Join you? And just who would I join? With your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead. Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Wow. Didn't like that guy. Why'd you insist on talking to him? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. Okay. Fine. Well, let's go into the party. Uh, okay, let's take a second shot of that, Triss, huh? What What do you say? Let's go into the party. Oh, let's look around. Definitely. I, I, Triss, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to leave you for a second. I think they're playing Gwen. So, how goes Behave yourself. Who's winning? Do what you might no, Gregor, have you seen Durgoff just a moment ago? Oh. oh, apologies. I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. General Voorhees? We're definitely going to talk to him. We're General mates. General Voorhees. Geralt of Rivia. So, oh, I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is... A beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end, when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoff and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. Hmm. Interesting. I suppose it makes sense that he's here. He, He's the one who was with the Lavalettes, right? So he's definitely, you know, he's in the right culture. Not just here for no reason. He could be spying, but well, I think he has a reason to be here. 
especially if they're trying to the influence a bunch of people, people like um, the Novigradians the to join, Novigradians like, um, the Elfgard. Ah, another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonan just vacated his place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. I would love to play. Let's do it. Not Northern Realms. We're doing Nilfgaard again. Uh, I don't think we have anything to add, because I think we did all that last time. Yeah, we're at the point where we're removing sixes from the deck. That is really good. Yeah. Okay. Do we really not want Gaunt or Doom in this deck? Let me have a look. So he's a... He is an 8, effectively. Do we not have anything worse than an 8? Uh, I suppose not, no. Yeah. I mean, we could remove one Archer, and then put in two Gaunters of Doom. That is better. It lowers our diversity in terms of, um, like, groups. Groups? What do these even call it? In terms of like close combat range siege, whatever we're gonna call them. Yeah, I suppose. We'll just go for that. We're in Snilfgard. Okay. It's gonna be spy versus spy. Eventual rain's definitely one that we do not want. Um I think we ditched the six as we've determined it is the weakest card in our deck, so. Okay, we got a ten from it, so objectively the right choice. Uh spy. That gets us a couple cards. Okay, we have some reses. We have a spy out. I think we're in a good spot. That's that's a good waste turn where you don't have to play anything. I think that given that we don't have any weather cards, we should leave our gold cards until we see them play a weather card. And we should just play something like a siege unit. There we go. Just put it out there that we might try and win this. Okay. So they played a spy on us, that means that we need to win this turn, because we our only way of bringing back spies is through reses. So let's uh, go very high in numbers. Okay. That's fine. I think I'm gonna play one of the threes right now. And that might be as far as I commit, I'm not sure. As in I might play no uh, one more three and then we commit that far. Oh no though, he's playing some high value cards is still more than 10 behind us. Okay. That's fine. They would, they could win with equal cards, so we're just going to play a 5. Because they would have to get 2 and then they'd have equal cards with us. That's a 4, so their car the cards they're playing are getting weaker and weaker. Um, I think we'll play our 10 now. There we go. We're still within two, so we can still uh, spy to get one back. We can go as hard as we like on this one, as long as we don't use our healers. I think we're gonna buff the front row if we need to do another turn. So, wait, so we're ahead by 11. They have to play two cards to beat us. I think we buff the front row, yeah. We, we go full in 88, it's still fine. We, we get a turn win. Decoy the spy makes sense, makes a lot of sense. We're gonna pass. Because there's no way that anything we could play now would make our um, situation better. So, let's see. They play as a spy, gives us even more, which is fine. Good. They get a couple more cards, but we, we are actually in the lead in terms of cards because we have two reses and we can bring back two spies. Let's start with that one. Bring back uh, that one bring back that card. We're probably going to lose this round, but that's okay. Uh, I guess we play Yennefer next. Ooh, they bring back a spy as well. No, they bring back the 10. So they're going for a win on this round. We let them have it. We'll play Yennefer. We'll play our spy. We still have quite... Yeah, we have a lot of power in the cards we have left. We have 48 currently, plus a res. Do we just pass? I mean, we have card advantage. We're still within range, though. I think if we can waste another bit out of them. If we play Siri, which is heavily over, 
like overstated card, we should be able to get a few more cards out of them. We're still in range to win, so I'm still gonna keep going. Just to see whether, because basically this forces him to play more cards. Yeah, we can still win. I'm gonna keep her res at the very least, but I think I'm gonna continue pushing for it. Okay, see, we got another res out of him. Brings back the four for whatever reason. We cannot, well, we could still win. I'm gonna play the three. That lets us see what his final card is. Yeah, we can't win this round, but we have won the game through that move. Fantastic. Let's just pass. No reason for us to do anything else. If it was instead of playing one of the cards, I could have torrential rained, but it doesn't really matter. We still win. No matter what we choose here. So let's choose the first one. There we go. Nice. Good win. So, one more round. Oh, we got Milva. When the cards nice. come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Your next opponent, Count Gomu Sili. It's really in good. In his day, his father lost the family estate in the Nimna Valley. Seems Gomu has followed in his footsteps. It's really Yet, do not underestimate him. Desperate men can be dangerous. Are you done? Good. Um. It is really good we get a card from each of these, because it's just going to give us a lot more, like, diversity in what decks we can create, I guess. Let's do it. Yeah, Nilf guard again. Okay, so we're against Skyatel this time. They don't tend to have a lot of, um, a lot of siege units. Scorch is really good versus Skyatel. They get rid of the zero. Um, I guess we're going to get rid of that six. Yeah, okay. It's not a great hand that we have. We have no spies. I think we're still okay. Just gonna play low so we can potentially scorch. That's good for us if they're in the hand. They were in the deck though, so that's not good for us. You can see whether they're hand or deck based upon whether their hand size goes down. Okay, hand or deck. We did just give them Scorch Protection here. That's alright, they, they played like no power. They've got that many cards, but no power out of it. Okay, we can get the win in two cards. Yeah, is it worth getting the win in two cards? I think so, because we have reses. So let's play that one and that one. Yeah, we'll take the win. Resets the board as well. We're also immune from Scorch right now with our current uh, setup because we've got gold cards. Milva, okay, so that's a 10 that buffs things in the row. Uh, we're just going to ignore that right now. We probably want to Scorch it, but we'll see. Another 10 buffs things in the row, huh? I think we're going to Scorch it. It's effectively like playing another 10 for us. So, that's fine. Healer brings back Milva. Yeah. Okay. Pass. Oh, I should have used my uh, leader. Oh, well. It's fine. They're going to pass as well. Okay. So, they played Saskia. Archer into... I guess it has to be black uh, infantry archer. Oh no. Oh, we can still uh, we can still bring him back. That puts us at 25. 18. 18 is what I meant to say. 6. Weather card. Weather card. But we have to play this, right? Because if it, if it is a siege unit, then it's got to be the way to play. Weather card? No! Just enough. Hopefully we get another shot versus this one. Well, now you must win it back. Yes. Your next opponent. Yes, In yes. Thank you. Do 
Let's play again. Let's do it. Okay. Did I rem I must have removed Fighting Frost. We haven't drawn it in a while. I'm starting to think maybe we should bring it back. Let's move the Siege Engineer. That's, a, that's an alright hand. Again, no Spies, which is a little bit disappointing. We did get um, a Decoy, though, which I quite like. Okay. I'm just going to waste a turn. I don't think he has any Siege cards, so... Skip our turn gives us a chance to see what they play. Okay. Uh, let's just play a high value card. Just uh, trying to get them to show us something. Okay. They play decoy for on that card for whatever reason. Maybe they're going to put it in the front row. They passed. Okay, we're only one card down, so... We could always decoy to bring something back, but I don't think we can play that much better, so yeah. We'll just take we'll we'll take the uh, the easy win. We get to go first. Just gonna play high value. See what they play. Okay. I'm gonna play that so I can bring back the black infantry archer. That puts us more than 10 ahead. Scorch is fine. We're still ahead by 1. If we pass, we're equal. By decoy, we're still equal. I think Nilfgaard wins ties. Somebody did tell me that, which is interesting. So, they still have to play more to beat us. Okay. That's reasonable. Uh, let's play our low, our low combo. The 3-3s, three because three, we're not going to bring him back. Played another five? Wow. Okay, well. That puts us ahead. Okay. Just gonna play another five. I still, I think we might actually have more, like, we might have better cards left over looking at what they're bringing back, which is why I'm just playing it out. We might keep our two healers behind, though. We'll see. Yeah, we keep our two healers behind. Is that buff? I think our two cards are better than their two cards. Especially as with the uh, combo of the two fives, that gives us an extra 20 on top of our two cards. So their two cards have to be equal to 28 or better. One of them is clear weather, so they have to have one card that gives them 28 value. Which isn't going to happen because they play clear weather. Yeah, so um, one of those. Yeah, it's Torrential Rain. Almost as... I, I think Torrential Rain, out of all the weather effects, has to be the most useless. Then anyway. 28 value. Woo! What card do we get from them, though? That's the important thing. So, one more round? When the Ooh. cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Sir Marius Florin. They say he never loses thanks to his Zugelbone amulet. Naturally, I could tell you more on the subject, but... Yeah. Let's do it. So, I, I should, while I remember, put these new cards in our deck. So, Milva is just amazing. Actually, just incredibly good. We'll put her in. Do I think we need to remove from this deck? Well, we could remove some of the Mahakin Defenders, I suppose. They don't really add anything. Yeah, let's remove a couple of Mahakin Defenders. Make the deck a little bit smaller. Could be a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, we don't have any draw in the deck, do we? Now the deck really doesn't... Although, actually, no, 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 no. It's a trick. We actually want to fill up the deck more with garbage. Now, let me tell you why. I just figured it out. We have a lot of these cards in the deck, the muster. So this allows us to bring any card out to play, right? So actually, in this deck, what you want to do is you want to fill it up with garbage. Why? Because when you play a muster card, it draws it from wherever, right? It even draws it, it even plays them from your hand, as far as I've seen. So, if we have junk like these fives in our hand, and then one of these muster cards, it allows us to get them all from our deck, which is much better for us. 
Now having seen that, that is much better. So yeah, we should probably just chuck everything in our deck that we have. Um, I think that's better. Yeah. On this one, we got the Vampire at the Bruxa, which is fantastic because it is a muster card. We don't have the rest of them yet, but it will be good. We also don't have a full monsters deck, so nothing we can really do with that right now. Okay, do we have fight? We do have Fighting Frost in the uh, deck. Oh, interesting. Uh, we haven't seen it that often. Uh, anything I want to add from there? No, I think we're still good. Yeah, let's go. Monsters. So good we have Fighting Frost. In fact, we drew it, which is even better. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Okay. No spies again, but we do have Fighting Frost and Scorch, which are very good against monsters. I want to play our gold cards first, because I want them to play a lot of cards in their front row. There we go. The reason why I'm very happy about that is because I could potentially Biting Frost Scorch combo them. So they're all worth zero and then you Scorch it, so they're all dead. Oh, they're all worth one, you Scorch it and then they're all dead. Actually perfect, yeah. We can do that exact combo right now. And because ours are gold, they don't count for the calculations. One decoy, you saved one card. Well done. Get Scorched. So they now have zero from all of their cards, and of course they're gonna pass. We we start with 25. Yeah, that was a good first turn. Okay. So we won with equal cards, and the monsters didn't get their uh, one good effect, which is that they get to keep a monster card on. Um, we're gonna play everything that is not a um, that is not a healer card this time. Aaron. Okay, that's fine. It's gonna buff things in the same row. They don't tend to have a lot of ranged cards, so we're good there. Torrential rain does not bother me one bit. Play the 10. Let's see what we've got. They scorch the 10. We can bring it back with one of ours, which I think I will do. Just because I don't think that the monster deck has anything more. Yeah, they have a Yennefer, which we've now brought out, which forces a Rez, which means that they will keep the five on the field. I don't think they keep the gold cards on the field. We can double the middle row, which I think is a really good move right now, because it forces more in this particular turn. Yeah, force that out, which is very, very good. Yeah, if we had to face that next turn, that'd be unfortunate. Can we win? No, we can't win, no matter what. We passed it. Yeah. They do still have the buff for the front row. That comes from uh, their leader, I think. Yeah, so they've got 12. Oh wait, we've lost. Wait, we haven't. We haven't lost yet. The last card is not buff, we haven't lost, cause we can bring back a healer. Actually gonna give us a tie win, assuming the last card is weather. Is their last card weather? No, oh, it's Griffin. We lose. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we gotta do this again. I was so close. If we can get spies as Nilfgaard, though, it's so good. Because we got so many combos so, and things. One but... more round? When the cup. Yeah. So Mari they yes, see? Marius Florin got it. Let's play. Let's do it. Spies are such an integral part of our strategy, and we can just never draw them. That's the problem. Like, we mulligan twice pretty much every game, and we never get our, one of our two spies, and we don't even have the good spies. Anyway. Get rid of that one, get rid of that one. No spies, of course. Why would I need spies? We got three reses, though. But we didn't get any high-value cards, so our reses are worth less. We didn't get... And I think we've lost this one already. We didn't get any way to... I, I guess we just have to bait things out. Yeah. Doubling the strength of all the close combat units doesn't bother me right now. Let's see. Grog? Okay. 
absolutely fine. Gonna keep at where we are. Vampires, that's okay. None in hand, of course. That's a pass, but also we, yeah, that's a forfeit. Let's let's just save us the time. So, one more. Yeah, they see. Because uh, they had seven cards it. in their hand, and we had trash in our hand. <laughs> right, let's go. That was a little bit of a misstep. There we go. We got the biting frost. We got a spy. We got a singular spy. Uh, we should get rid of uh, that one. Probably. And we drew torrential rain, of course. Right. Well, that that's just bad. Um, we want to spy so we can get some more cards before we decide what to do. It's fine. He's going to buff his front row. No, he's going to decoy our spy. Interesting. That's fine. We can decoy the decoy of the spy. Yeah. That's fine. The more cards in hand, the better it is for us. So, like, because we have a lot of combo cards, we have a lot of res cards. Like, more cards is just straight up better for us than it is for them. Don't really care about Vampire, because that's worth 5 overall, because we can um, we can use our Biting Frost. Please pass. You're going to Commander's Horde now, huh? Thing is, that's worth 1, 2, so that is worth 22 overall. So... I don't care. I'm gonna play one of our tens. Torrential rain, huh? Okay, we're gonna play another one of our tens. This is absolutely fine. Because that's only another six they've added on there. Yeah, knew it was a pass, but also knew it's like. Well, I'm gonna bite and frost. Why did I play the five in the front row then? If I was gonna bite and frost. If I knew I was gonna bite and frost, why would I play the five in the front row? Um, wait, have I have I messed things up here? Do we actually not have enough to beat them? Maybe. <laughs> wait. Uh, so that will double. Wait. So that adds doubles the strength of both cards. So. Double, double, double. That puts them all to... Uh, wait, doubles the strength of them. Yeah, I think that if we play these three, we're good. I might have messed up my addition slightly. But that's fine. I really don't want to play Yennefer. So... Uh, oh god, I, I just messed that up entirely. Let's not even talk. Let's not talk about that one. That was just straight up forgetting Let's that Biting Frost would affect me as well. Is there anything we don't need in our deck that's maybe meaning that we draw wrong things? I mean, Torrential Rain, like, doesn't actually. Uh... I'm actually gonna switch Torrential Rain out because it never is never an advantage. We only use it to skip turns anyway. It's just another, it's just bloat in our deck. Ditch that one. Uh, we got a spy. I'm gonna ditch this res. Okay, that's fine. It's all right. We might get it back with the spy anyway. We got, we got another spy though, which is nice. Uh, hopefully we get a decoy from the spy, that'd be great. We didn't, but we got another res, which is great. We can bring the spies back next turn as well. Rooksa? Okay. Uh, we're just going to play a nice high value card there. Stefan doesn't really matter to us. You played it. Um, going to play another range because we could potentially Commander's Horn the middle row. Get us a 32. Yeah, that, that much we saw coming. Uh, let's play that one, because they we know that they have Torrential Rain in their deck. Okay. We're so much further ahead in terms of cards. 
I'm going to use my lead leader card right now. So they have Yennefer decoy and feet. Actually, interesting to know. Hmm, that's spy. Yeah, that's a good. That's a that's a spy we want like a hundred percent of the time. It's so good because it can't be played back against you. They have a two card advantage. We have two spies we want to play next turn. But if we play the spies next turn, we need to confirm that we win. As much as I hate it, I'm going to Commander's Horn in the front row. They're going to pass, but I had to do it. They're not going to pass. They're going to bring one back. Then they're going to pass. Yeah, we should pass now. There's, there's no way that they can overtake us without expending at least three cards. I think. Yeah, they would have had to have played Fog, which they don't have in their deck. Okay. Let's play that one. Let's get ourselves some more reses out of these spies. They're gonna decoy our spy again. We, we're, we're aware of this, but not really much we can do about that. Oh, we can bring it back though, nice. Okay, that's fine. Gonna do another res. Gonna play the nine. That's okay. Gives us another two cards. Okay, got us one more res back, which is nice. They buff the strength of all the close combat units. Again, doesn't really bother us. We can play the 10. Oh, they do have fog. Huh. Let's play a 10 in the back row. Not that that's going get, to get us very far, but... Yeah, it got, it got us the, uh, the uh, res out. Okay, that's an interesting combo actually. The fact that uh, he brought a card back to his hand, so he, so when they died, he could then play a res, get two cards. Okay, interesting. I'm not sure if it's a good combo, but it's an interesting combo. Now add a biting frost to that, which actually puts us in the lead in terms of cards. That's fine. I'm not overly committing to this one. But I am going to play this because it's the most, like, it's the best time to play it. They scorched our 10. Okay. I'm going to play the res to bring back the 10 again. Reason being is I think they're going to, well, I don't know. I was thinking for a second here they might decoy one of the spies and then play it again. And what we'd want to do is we want to have a decoy ready. We have a decoy right now. Let's just use it. Let's bring back the 10 to our hand. I mean the 1 to the hand would have been the same and actually it's a better value. But whatever. We can buff a row but it doesn't really give us anything. Let's just... Well, I mean, if we play one one more point, we are equal, and therefore we'd win, and we win ties. So, like, yeah, let's play it. We can continue doing that, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Aaron, there are cards. So, can we win? No. So we'll just pass. But now we win overall, because there was no way we could lose. There we go. Anyway. Fantastic. Capital of the world, they call it. Ooh, what did we get for winning? Dandelion. Such a good card. Actually, I think Dandelion is a really good card. Go have a look here at Dandelion. Uh, well, I mean, we might as well do it. It's on every deck because it's a neutral, but it's a commander's horn is also a card. I mean, it's good and bad, but I really like it. I think it, because you can also res to bring it back. So it's kind of like a better commander's horn. Let's play, da let's put Dandelion in the deck. Let's ditch a commander's horn in the deck. In fact, that's probably going to be the same for every deck. Dandelion, ditch a commander's horn. Oh, that one only has one commander's horn, so we'll keep that there. Goytel, Dandelion, um, Ditch a Commander's Horn. 
we have a commander sword? We don't. Yeah, we don't even have a commander sword in that deck. Um, well, I guess we'll put one in. Fighting Frost probably in that deck as well, and then uh, actually quite a few decoys because of the number of reses that are, that are in that deck. I think. Um. Oh, we only have one res. Oh no, we have two reses. Uh, maybe only two decoys. That's fine. Um, and then monsters. We also didn't have any, like a couple of decoys. Uh, Commander's horn. Fog and rain are good for that because they don't use a lot of them. Clear weather is also probably like a monster deck has to. Scorch and then dandelion. Nice. Yeah, if I go back to Skytel, actually, and oh, we're good. I think we're good. Oh, did I put any weather in Sky? Can I tell? Yeah, one fighting frost. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Oh yeah, I just noticed where you find out what they do. Like underneath where, I mean it's probably pretty obvious, like underneath the words Nilf Guardian Empire it says win when there's a draw. Oh. Anyway. Hey Tris, uh, bet you really enjoyed this uh, Gwent, didn't you? And that's where we're going to end the episode for today. Thank you for watching. Next time we're going to finish the party. See you then. Goodbye.